morning children and welcome back to your chemistry class so in the last video we had studied about mendeleev's periodic table and uh, what were the different defects found in his table and why his table was rejected so the next scientist who came forward with his classification was mosley and it is called as mosley's classification so most of the defects in the mendeleev's periodic table they disappeared when the basis of the classification of the element it changed from atomic weight to atomic numbers okay so earlier like till mendeleev they had classified their uh, elements according to the increasing atomic weight but mosley he classified those elements according to increasing atomic number so by doing so many of the defects of the mendeleev's periodic table they got disappeared right so mosley what did he do he arranged he arranged the elements according to the increasing atomic numbers okay this point is clear so while he was arranging the elements into uh, the increasing atomic numbers he also had set seven horizontal rows uh, uh, set seven horizontal rows and what were those seven horizontal rows called as he called them as periods and 18 vertical columns okay 18 vertical columns they were termed as group what were they termed as group okay so this forms the basis of the modern periodic table clear now let us define what is modern periodic law so before defining modern periodic law i would also like to revise the mendeleev's periodic law what did mendeleev's periodic law state that the physical and chemical properties uh, of the elements are the periodic functions of the atomic weight but modern periodic table states that the physical and chemical properties of elements are the periodic function of their atomic numbers clear so these elements when arranged in increasing order of atomic numbers they also showed similarity in the properties after a regular interval of time thus the elements showed similarities in properties after regular interval okay so till here it's clear now this was also termed as periodicity also termed as periodicity so what is periodicity when elements they showed similar properties uh, after a regular interval of time that is termed as periodicity right now what is the reason of periodicity so what uh, uh, repeats after a regular interval of time uh, electronic configuration is repeated or we may say the reoccurrence of similar uh, electronic configuration uh, also helps in maintaining the periodicity in the elements right 
so what is the reason for the periodicity in properties after definite intervals of atomic numbers there is always a reoccurrence okay there is reoccurrence of similar electronic configuration okay therefore we get periodicity now since these properties of elements are dependent on the number as well as the arrangement of electrons including um, electrons in the valence shell therefore these elements having similar electronic configuration they also have similar properties clear is this clear to all of you till now now next we come to periodic properties so let's talk about certain periodic properties periodic properties so what are those periodic properties that we need to know we should know what is atomic radii okay what is ionization energy and what is electron affinity these are the three major periodic properties that we need to study in this chapter so before i begin with the salient features of the modern periodic table let us first understand what are these atomic radii ionization energy and uh, electron affinity so first one is atomic radii now try to understand it like this this is a nucleus okay suppose these are the shells all around right so the distance from the center of the nucleus to the valence shell this distance is termed as atomic radii right so you can write it down the distance between the center of the nucleus and the last shell which is also termed as the valence shell okay this is called as atomic radii that is the distance uh, between the center of the nucleus and the last shell this is termed as the radius of an element so this was the first property the second property is ionization ionization energy now what is ionization energy these are the amount of energy that is required to remove an electron from the uh, outermost uh, gaseous isolated atom okay so how can we define uh, what is ionization uh, potential or ionization energy they both mean the same okay so the amount of energy required okay to remove an electron from the outermost shell of an isolated gaseous atom okay so what is ionization energy it is the amount of energy that is required here the energy is required to remove an electron from the outermost shell of an isolated gaseous atom this is called as ionization energy and lastly we need to know what is electron affinity okay what is electron affinity this is the amount of energy that is released when an atom in the gaseous state accepts an electron and it forms what here it was forming a cation uh, and forms cation okay and forms cation 
so what does it say the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell of an isolated gaseous atom and form cations clear so now what is electron affinity as i said it is the amount of energy okay released over here when an atom in the gaseous state accepts an electron to form an ion okay so this was electron affinity so i hope you have understood what are some of the periodic properties mrs continuously speaking the when we say periodic properties we talk about say atomic radii or ionization potential or even electron affinity